Ultraviolet curtains and Ori Kelton powder. Dr. Swansea's always been a resourceful bastard. I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Says a lot about how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it. Just like you are. You're the progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We've found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. Try something else. The blood of a true defender of this land will protect me. Free will prevail! And if you're so innocent, why does simple light burn you so much? Down! 
Show some style. Fight like a man. We are the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? We always have been, and we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. Perhaps you're right. Maybe I am a monster that deserves no mercy. But that's not all I am. You're nothing but a corpse animated by evil, Doctor. Don't try and fool yourself. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCollum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now. For there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. <sighs> That's where you're mistaken. I'll spare you, McCollum. I'll offer you the mercy you never offered me. What is this ruse? This is no ruse, McCollum. This is me letting you go. After all, you and I are both trying to save this poor country in our own way. I'll kill you, Reed. Next time we meet, I'll end you. See? Progress already. You called me by my name. Until the next time. Goodbye, Hunter.
Good evening, Miss Halcroft. I need blood, Doctor. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. I have a lot to do, Dr. Reed. Can I be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again? I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you, like the whole world lies to us. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. I'm okay. Admit it, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. You can trust me. I won't report you to the authorities. My one and only concern is your health. I guess I should thank you, then. Can I help you in any way, Mr. Goswick? I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after... after my death. But... I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then perhaps we'll talk.
I have to go now, sir. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening, Doctor. Your son wished to die, Beatrice. Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Mortimer could be thrown in jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal... ...consequences, Mrs. Goswick. But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? All my son needs is help and comprehension. Not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not have done. Goodbye, Mrs. Good evening. And good evening to you. surgeon. The greatest. Good evening. Good evening. was to go back to work, to take care of my children. I'm quite busy. Oh, my God. 
this is how it ends. Farewell, my life, you betrayed me, good. locked. Good evening, Mr. Emmerich. Your 
medical report says you're not affected by the Spanish flu. What do you think of that, Mortimer? Does it make me happy? Not in the slightest. If it was up to me, I would have left this place long ago. I know I don't belong here. And why do you think you don't belong here? I know the staff have more important things to do than look after me. There's plenty of patients here who need their attention. I have to go now, sir. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening. I've read your son's medical report, Beatrice. It's not the flu or anything life-threatening. What has you so worried? He was at death's door when he was brought here. I just want him to be better as soon as possible. He's not out of the woods yet, you know. He might need to stay here longer than expected. Take care of him then, Dr. Reed. People here only seem to focus on contagious patients. I worry my poor Mortimer will be neglected. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick.